Hey everybody, this is Lisa Baudouin. Welcome to Lisa's chat room. Today is May 16th, 2023. We're talking about washing clothing to try to remove chemical formaldehyde and other strong chemical finishing products out of the clothing. So before I begin, I must disclose I'm not a scientist or an expert in anything. Anything I share with you, I do so with good intentions, but you have to try, use, or buy at your own risk and peril. I always suggest that you use rubber gloves, not with the cloth, but without the cloth, because for me, that cloth had some type of chemical finishing, so I don't use them. So I use rubber gloves, I use goggles, and I keep well-ventilated area. And I stay out of the area when I'm trying certain things. I just try it, see if it works. So just to recap about these products, which by the way, I don't get endorsed. And I only share with you products that seem to work for me. Don't talk about products that haven't, which I've gone through several. But make sure that if you're going to use vinegar, you use the distilled vinegar. This is what I use. Make sure that when you're using something, shake it just a little bit to make sure that it's well mixed before you use it. And make sure you're very careful, especially with stuff like ammonia, borax, the vinegar. I use the gloves again because that stuff can burn your skin. Also too, do not put that in your dispenser, in your wash machine ever. This acid, it can eat away plastics and rubber and all kinds of stuff. So these are the things I've tried and I've done videos on them. So I'm not going to talk about them except to say, make sure whenever you're using any type of laundry detergent to turn it around and check to see what it is before you buy it. Even those ones that claim that they're better for the environment. You know, I've looked at some of them and I'm sorry, there's a few that the first few ingredients are toxic. I read toxic. I, I look them up and it's like, okay, no. And so be careful. Don't go by what someone else says. Go by what you research. One of the things we use the most of in our lives is laundry detergent. We're constantly cleaning clothes. And here in the United States, we go through millions of dollars worth of laundry detergents and products to clean our clothes clothes to clean our house there can be chemical finishes and formaldehyde in clothing basically we're just creating awareness here there are people that are commenting on my videos now who have the same problem or something similar there are several people i've talked to who have this problem and it is a horrific problem because you can't really control what other people use the chemical finishing and the formaldehydes in your laundry detergents and your laundry softeners so be careful for that and it can also be in certain imported clothing. How I look at it is it's in all my stuff, especially in brand new items. I treat them a certain way, but I also treat my everyday items because you can bring it into your house. And as I've mentioned in these conversations, formaldehyde and these chemical finishes are resin type finishes and they soak your clothes in it. They dry it and then they iron it in. Also too, I have been researching more and more about the other side of it. How can I prevent this from happening to me? How can I get better? How can I stop this allergy? So I'm looking at that as well. If you know me, I'm a child abuse survivor and advocate coach. My father locked us up in a house for about a year. In that house, we lived a lot in the basement, which they talk about in newspapers. We did. And we had one of these things here and it was all sledgehammered open and there was water draining down and we spent months in that basement I spent a lot of my life in that basement by the way there was mold and we had a bomb shelter and it was mildewy and so I was smelling that in and then my father was one of the first people to play around with plastics he started making these paperweights with pretty flour would be in the paperweight so I was smelling all that stuff and I would be next to him I'd be sitting there watching him and so did I get some type of overexposure don't know you know, that's for scientists to figure out. But here's what I do. Prevention is better. You know, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure, right? So I just don't want this around my grandkids, my kids. I don't want any types of stuff. And so this is what I have to do in order to get the chemicals out of this clothes. So anyway, it's in imported fabrics, some of them. And it's also in some laundry detergents. So just turn the laundry detergent around and to get it out of the fabrics. This is what I wanted to hone in on. It can be in many, many fabrics, okay, including cotton. If you have a tag that says 100% cotton, I have bought things like that and it's in it as well. However, it's hardest to get it out of any type of sock, 
any kind of corduroy, jean, in your bras, in the cup of the bra, and in the hem of the bra, it's very hard to get it out of here. So what I do is I take the glass cleaner or the distilled vinegar, and I'm finding that the glass cleaner isn't working as well as it used to be. So it could be that the product, the type of I buy, the brand, maybe they've changed their ingredients, their bill of materials. Maybe it's less, not sure. But I have been using white vinegar too and spraying it on. It's very horrible to smell that in. Be very, very careful. And I put it on and then I take a brush and I go like that or I'll take my glove finger and I'll go like that. And I'll really get it in. I'll really saturate it. And then I put it into the wash machine without anything and I'll let it sit. I think what happens is with that, that is a vinegar, it's an acid, it's breaking down that resin. So that's what I do. And then I did buy the borax. So let's take a look at the borax here. They talk about their history right here. And then they talk about what it is. Here it says ingredients, sodium borate. Now, sometimes you won't find the ingredients on the container. It'll say, see our website. Please take the time to go to the website, look up the ingredients at the website, but then go research it online through accredited chemists and medical people. So here it's sodium borate. Here it says, caution, avoid contact with eyes. Don't let it get into your mouth. So wear your glasses and then also use your gloves. Be very careful of this stuff. Keep it away. I think the sad thing is I have to use all this stuff to get the chemical out of the clothes. That's what the saddest thing is. This, by the way, is Epsom salts. I tried that. That seems to help too, a little bit, not a lot. This seems to be helping more. And I actually had this and I was terrified of it because I think it has a horrible smell to it, but it does seem to work for me. And the reason I picked it up, it says it neutralizes odors. So there's a lot of different things that say it neutralizes odors. A lot of new brands out there, products out there. Make sure you research those ingredients to find out what it is. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to limit the chemicals that I'm using and keep it very frugal. So I'm not leaving an imprint on the environment because all this stuff is leading to toxic waterways and water systems and horrible things. And if you read up on it, it's really scary. But here, I just wanted to get through this pretty quickly here. We've got the laundry and you can do it using a spritz bottle or you can pre-soak. Now I haven't done the spritz bottle yet. I don't like the smell of this stuff. It scares me. So I have just done the pre-soak and the pre-soak seems to work. Now the other thing I want to say here is that I don't fill my wash machine high. It's on small and I only put a few things at once. I really saturate them, stick them in the wash machine, and then I will pre-soak them using the directions and I'll let them sit for a day if I can at least a couple hours and then let that agitation of that washer really mix that around and then what I'll do is after that I fill it up a little bit more to rinse it out and then I'll use my vinegar and baking soda I never put this in the wash dispenser never put it in that little dispenser I put it right on top of the wash I wash it that way. I use laundry balls to dry and I've done a little research on drying and most of the time your static is due to the fact that you dried your clothes too much. So check to see maybe you just dried them too much. Maybe you need to just lower that temperature down or lower the time down. But the dryer balls seem to work perfectly fine. When I dry them, I also spritz them with the distilled vinegar and I've never had a smell of distilled vinegar. They're fine. I've had no problem. So try that and see if this works for you. And if you're not going to do this, fine. I'm not a doctor or scientist. I can't take liability for this. You have to do it at your own risk. But this might help those people that are having the issues. If anything, if you're using laundry detergents that have very harsh chemicals, please keep in mind that there are people like us that have allergies to them. Please keep that in mind. And also to do some research of your own and see what it's doing to the environment. If anything, use it for really and make sure you really rinse that stuff out and be very careful and mindful of fabric softeners as well because that stuff is meant to stay in your clothes. So be very careful with that. So that being said, I'm done with this video. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. And please stay safe and stay healthy. And I'll see you again next time in Lisa's chat room.